two hours is good. And I know there's a generation of fans that are not used to two hours of Raw. The story, Gabe, that we have found out is that when they go back to uh, to Netflix, uh, it'll be go back, go back to three hours. Uh, so and that will be in January. So well, I've I think, seen some stuff saying that there's no set time is sort of what they're floating around right now. I, whether it's true or not, I just saw a couple of things that was written. Yeah. It says when they go back to Netflix, it'll be three hours. Two hours is fine. It's I've been waiting for this for years. Two hours. You could tell you could tell stories quicker. You get through the the story, and people will have more anticipation. Three hours stretches it out. It was always a, a great play for WWE from a money standpoint, but two hours in the short term, totally fine. Yeah, I agree. Like if we have fewer video packages recapping stuff we saw earlier in the night or the week before, like I'm a hundred percent okay with that. I'll admit where we are today with Monday Night Raw is light years better than two years ago, and three <laughs> hours was truly torture. Now, three hours, like, all right, it's bearable. It's a little different when you're in person. But still, to get to two hours, to condense it, to make it tighter, to give us more matches and less recaps, I am 100% on board with this. Yeah, is yeah, again, like you said, in person, there were times where three hours was really bad. And um, we in Milwaukee, where I am, I think we've, I feel like we're on the SmackDown rotation. We've had more SmackDown than Raw, so it, it's it's certainly flown by a little bit quicker. But it just, it's just easier, I think, for everybody involved. Does WWE have enough talent that I mean, they, they already have you know four hours a week, and and then you throw NXT in there, and they're pl- throwing plenty of main roster down, you know, on NXT if you want to get them a little bit of work. I think it's going to be really easy. And I think that first two hour raw we get is going to be a breath of fresh air because it's going to be so fast and so pacey and all the good parts that we have of raw for three hours condense it down to two. I think it's going to be a really good show. Wrestling should only be two hours. This is coming from a guy that grew up watching 30 minute and one hour shows. Uh, so when I was two hours, like, boy, that's a long time. Two hour shows. Wow. Uh, but 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 we're used to it, and I think that that's exactly the right time for wrestling. And for from WWE standpoint, look, this has got to be great for Triple H. You're trying to plan eight to ten segments instead of stretching it out. I mean, as you guys were mentioning under Vince, it was three hours, and I think that they were just hemorrhaging. They're like they love the money, but they just threw anything against the wall. At least these three hours under Triple H have had some meat to it. It meant something. <laughs> What what was the Shane thing? Raw Underground was that the name of it? Yes, <laughs> that they yes. tried like for. The- <laughs> yes, yes, so bad. They oh were, man, they were so desperate, just kind of coming up like, guys, we are struggling with this third hour, but we can't say no to the money. What do we do? You don't have the best of Underground DVD. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> I don't. The worst thing in wrestling is trying to make something that's um, real. Something yep. that's uh, not real, real. That's exactly what they did. Tried to do a shoot thing, and it didn't work. It did not work yeah. at all. And that's the thing. Like, where we're at now, we're, like, forcing them to tell better stories. We've seen it with the WWE pay-per-views under Hunter. Like, these are shorter PLEs, and they're making it better. We're seeing better wrestling. We're not seeing, you know, zombie matches and things like that. So I feel like it'll challenge Hunter and ultimately make it better for us as fans. Yeah, I mean, when the fact that most of the PLEs were as long as, as Monday Night Raw now, because that's what he I mean, he tries to keep it to kind of that tight three hours for a lot of these PLEs, except for obviously the big ones, right? Like obviously yeah. WrestleMania is a little different, SummerSlam a little bit different, but for Bash, you know, Bash in Berlin, like they wanted to keep that right around three hours. So it makes sense that, okay, three hours is reserved for the big show where we're going to have a lot more wrestling and we can, and again, I think this is good for the talents and, and we see, you know, Natalia giving an interview talking about where she's been, you know, over the summer for WWE after she returned in her home country this past Monday. Uh, yeah. Look, they've been great taking care of talent. We're seeing they're cutting down on house shows. This is another way to take care of talent where you don't have to have just random matches to help fill the time where, you know, we see Braun Breaker take on, you know, or, or Bronson Reed take on whomever for the fifth week in a row. You can eliminate a lot of those things when it's tighter and, and you have to be really responsible with that time that you now have. Gabe, it's a great point. I'm glad you brought up the point that uh, came out of the last couple of days from Mark Shapiro from the front office of WWE. They are going to cut back on house shows. And I know that you have spoken glowingly about house shows, how you appreciate house shows more than when the TV cameras come to Milwaukee. Uh, mm-hmm. Because and, and now they're cutting it back even more so. So they want to have less than 200 events. They feel like if you want to go home to your family, you can. You can vacation if you want. And it's just a totally different vibe.